Hello and welcome to my keto kitchen. I'm Victoria. Today I am bringing you the absolute best keto bread option you can make in your kitchen. No doubt. This will be a yeast raised bread that actually doesn't need to proof. It's going to have the texture, the taste, and the color of bread. Just regular bread. This bread is a hybrid. It is a hybrid between my Just Add Water bread and my yeast raised bread. I have taken the best of both of those ingredients and made one perfected keto loaf of bread. But before we actually make the bread, I want to show you a little science experiment that I did a few days ago. Okay, if you look in keto baking books or any kind of baking, they'll tell you allulose cannot feed yeast. And I don't believe everything I read, and I think that's why I've gotten this far in keto baking, because just because you read it in a science book doesn't always mean it's 100% right. So I had to see it for myself, and I wanna show you exactly what happens when you try and feed yeast with allulose. So for this bread, you're going to need two cups of water. However, if you have already made my Just Add Water bread and you realize that you only needed one and three quarters of a cup of water, then you use one and three quarters cup of water. For me, it takes two cups of water to make this bread just right. This right here is one tablespoon of allulose and my water is at 110 degrees. Now right here, I have half of a tablespoon of active dry yeast. I read that you cannot feed yeast with allulose, but I had to see that for myself. And I want to show you what's going to happen after 10 minutes. I'm going to grab my, I call it a rag, I was told to call it a dish towel. So I'm grabbing a dish towel. I'm going to cover it for 10 minutes. So in 10 minutes, we will come back and see if anything at all happened and can allulose feed yeast or not? I'll show you that in 10 minutes. Okay, 10 minutes is up. Now let me show you what happens. Now, as you can see, we have some reaction right here in the center. Nothing like what we would get with white sugar. But I also used about half the amount of yeast that I would in a regular baking situation, and I used four times more water. So, there's more experiments to be done, but there is somewhat of a reaction with the yeast and the allulose, at least a little bit. Okay, now with that little experiment out of the way, let's go forward and make my perfected keto bread. The first thing we're gonna need is four cups of my perfected keto flour, and four cups is 420 grams. The next thing that we need is our yeast water mixture. And right here for me is two cups. For you, it may be one cup plus three quarters of a cup. We also are going to need two tablespoons of baking powder. And lastly, one quarter of a teaspoon of salt. All right, let's mix this up. Okay, we are done. I'm going to get the batter off. Okay, I'm going to put the dough in my bread pan. Smooth it out. So after making this bread a lot of times, I realize if you take a sharp knife and you just cut some lines, however you like it. It looks really pretty as it rises and it doesn't get as strange looking. So this is what my bread batter dough, this is what we have right now. I'm going to put this in the oven at 350 degrees for one hour. I need to let you know that this is later, Victoria. I only had to bake this bread for 45 minutes. If you choose, to not add the allulose, bake it for the full hour. Then I'll be right back, cut into it, and show you some yeast raised keto bread that doesn't need to be proofed and that will rise on its own in the oven during this one hour. Be right back. Okay, we are only 10 minutes in and I wanna show you where we're at. 
We are coming up the 30 minute mark and I have covered it in foil because with allulose, it is going to brown much faster. Okay, this baked for 45 minutes, not one hour. The allulose definitely makes it brown much faster. So I have this, I am going to take it out of the hot. Let's see, how am I gonna do this? I'm going to set this down. Ah, there we go. This is a close-up of the bread. Just came out of the oven. It has baked for 45 minutes at 350 degrees. Now, let's cut into it. And the moment of truth. Let's cut into this. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, as you can see, this bread is really hot. It's still steaming. I am going to leave this here until it stops steaming, and then we're going to feel the texture, and we're gonna taste it, and I'm gonna break it really close to the camera so that you can see exactly what this looks like. Here is the bread. It is, I can feel some moisture in it. And as I mentioned earlier in one of my videos about the flour, is there is a crumb. It does have crumbs. So this is moist. It is not wet. It, this is not wet. It is moist at this point. So with this bread, what I have been doing, wait, where's my knife? Is I have been cutting slices. So this is what I do. Okay, so I cut all of my slices. I wait until it is completely room temperature where there is no more steam and if I were to put butter on it, the butter would not melt. So I get to taste this now, tell you what it tastes like. And I just wanted to show you how I deal with the moisture that is inside of the bread as it is cooling. Now, let's try this. I don't think there's a better tasting keto bread, specifically that is gluten-free, anywhere. This tastes like a homemade bread. It has the yeast, it is not sweet, even though we put the allulose, it's still not sweet. And if you choose to not add the allulose, bake it for the full hour. Because without the allulose, it is not going to brown, you're not going to need to cover it in foil, just bake it for the entire hour. Mm. It crumbs. Mm. Hey, come try it. I'm gonna let my daughter try it, okay? Okay, tell me what it feels like. It feels really soft. Do you feel it's kind of wet-like, or is it? It's really moist. It's moist, okay. That's really good. What's the, do you know what texture means? Yes. What's the texture feel like? Your original bread that just came out of the oven. Oh, like bread that just came out of the oven? Okay. What's it taste like? It tastes really normal. It tastes, tastes normal. <laughs> that works. I like to have a ham sandwich with that. A ham sandwich? Okay. I could do that for you. Okay. She wants a sandwich. Now, this bread is her favorite to make French toast. She loves French toast made out of this bread. It just, it's something special. It's not like any French toast I've ever had. For some reason, making French toast with this bread is special. Highly recommend. Mm. I mean, it just tastes like bread. I don't know what more to say. It just, it tastes like bread. Let me show you this. I wanna show you this. Do you see how this is moist? However, since it's been sitting out, it is drying up. Still really, really hot. Okay, you can see 
there's still some moisture inside of this right here. But it's still so hot, it's hard to touch it. These, these are the first ones we cut. Just to recap on a few things. If you add allulose to this mixture, you're gonna wanna bake it between 45 and 50 minutes. Don't cut it short. I know it's gonna brown. You're gonna have to cover it in foil probably between 25 and 30 minutes. Go ahead and cover it in foil. Do not seal the foil. That will prevent it from cooking fully all the way through. Keep your foil loose. And I showed you how I did it. I have a top rack that I put foil on. That way all the heat is still getting to the bread. It's just not browning as fast. If you do not add the allulose, that's totally fine. If you don't add the allulose, bake it for its full one hour. For some reason, allulose, it just speeds things up. Once you have let this set out and completely cool, cut it into the slices that you want. Cut the entire thing. That way the inside will completely cool down. A nice thing about this bread is you don't have to worry about it going dry. That is for sure. This is a moist bread, but it should not be wet. If your bread is wet, something did not go right. If you're getting extremely wet bread, cut down the liquid by one quarter of a cup. A lot of people do better with one and three quarters cup of water. I just like two cups of water. It's just the right texture, the right taste. It's just right for me. Thank you for watching this video today. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I post every Tuesday and Friday and you have a blessed day.